Hey, I'm Joel, and today we're going to make this style 808 bass sound in Roland's Xenology Pro software synth. So firstly, uh, click the name up here, make sure all is selected on the left, all is selected on the right, and then make sure initial tone is selected here. So it's going to have the default sound, which is this piano. We're going to turn mono on, so make sure only one note can be played at a time. And portamento as well. Uh, we will we'll come back to the portamento time, but just turn it on for now and keep the portamento time quite low. So we'll click virtual analog here. There's so many different ways you can make an 808. Uh, but first thing, make sure you're wearing some nice headphones or we've got a good quality speaker system so you can hear that low sub frequency range. A few different ways we can do it. We can start with a sine wave if we want, which is just going to be a fundamental tone here. We've got a um, spectrum analyzer down here in Ableton. So if I hit a key, see we've only got that fundamental tone. So that doesn't it sounds pretty fat through the right system, but if you're just listening to it through smaller speakers or smaller headphones, then it's not going to translate very well. So we want to add some high frequency content to that, some harmonics. So you can do that in a few different ways. We could change the pulse width here. And you can hear those extra harmonics coming through. If we turn the pulse width all the way up, it's going to become reminiscent of a saw tooth wave. But we don't want that. We just want to add a little bit in. That's sounding pretty cool. The other alternative is you could pick, start with something like a square wave. And then you could add a filter to it here. And that will, you can see there, that it's already got the extra harmonics. Actually, I better go back here and change the pulse width back to default. You can see those harmonics already shining through. And you can hear them as well. But I think I'm going to stick with the sine wave here and a little bit of pulse width modulation. Just I think it just gives it slightly fatter in the sub frequencies. So we want, now we want to add that little the click, like the kick sound, like the pa pa at the start of the note. So we'll go to the pitch envelope here, and we will drag all these three nodes out here. We're going to use a envelope pitch envelope. So the sound is going to be sent to this envelope. So it's going to start. I think this is two octaves above the root note um, and then we're going to have it come down really really quick like really really quick if you need you can hold shift to move this in intervals of one and probably about the 10 see t1 10 and then the second one here it's going to level out a little bit and then we want to make sure this last node here is at level zero you can see in the top left there it says l3 zero so that way by the time this pitch envelope finishes it's going to be at the the note that's played so you're not going to hear anything yet until we add the pitch envelope depth so bring that up to full i've still got the filter on here so i'm going to take that filter off there you go that's better so you can just play around with these nodes here Also depends how you like your 808. If you like it to sort of go boom, 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 like that, or if you just want to like boom, 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 you know what I mean? My voice doesn't accurately represent it, but you get the idea. So you could have it like. Or if you just want it sort of really quick and to quickly come to that root note, we'll just bring these to the left a little bit. Just to sort of catch that get that click at the start and then sort of level out pretty quick. So most of the sound is going to come from this pitch envelope here. So just get that to the setting that you like it. Just remember this decay setting is going to be the thing that really shapes the sound. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the stuff in Xenology Pro. Uh, if you wanted, you could EQ it in here. So MPQ, turn on the EQ and then bring some of those higher frequencies out. But we won't for now, we'll just leave that as is, turn the EQ off, and then we're going to come to some post-processing here. We will add some overdrive for starters. We want to try to reserve as much of that sub-frequency as possible without totally overdriving it. So 
just a little bit of overdrive there. Now, being the preset man that I am, the saturator preset a bit warmer, sounds pretty nice in Ableton. It's just going to bring all of those frequencies and sort of bring the level up and basically make it just like the preset says, a little a bit warmer. But I am going to change that to a medium curve. Bring the drive down a little bit and the output down just a little bit. And I'm going to add some color as well. So we're just going to add some color to the lower frequencies. And bring the width all the way down. There you go, that sounds pretty cool. So without that. Now we're going to add some multiband dynamics, so some multiband compression. So we're just going to listen to the, not the highs, the mids and the lows here and sort of fine tune the, the frequency cutoff. So we're going to maintain that real low sub frequencies, so around this between somewhere between 60 and 80 hertz. And then the highs. We just want to get that, that click at the start. I'm going to turn that input up a little bit, bring the threshold down, bring the attack down. So now listening to them, we're well, listening to just the mids. And we can just sort of change the input volume and the output volume on each of them depending on how much we like. That's sounding pretty nice. So without the multiband dynamics, and then with See, I think that clicks too loud now, so let's just bring the output down. Just, if it's not peak, if it's peaking over here, just make sure you bring the total output down. Cool. So we've got we've got the fundamental sound. We've got that fat bass. We've got some of the higher frequencies. But now I think it's time to take out some of those high frequencies. So let's add an EQ8 here. I'm just going to put like a like a shelf. And just yeah, about the 1K mark, somewhere about there. And then right at the end, we're just going to add a utility, and we're going to put the put it to mono. So that way, for whatever reason, anything's changing in the left and right spectral of the of your headphones or speakers, this will just bring it to mono. And just play around with everything. Play around with the drive, um, with that with that pitch envelope here. And then you can change the portamento time as well. Yeah, and that's it. That's how you make a 808 style bass drum sound in Roland's Xenology Pro software synth. Thanks for watching.